Hello everyone. I, Mrs. Vinita Philip, Assistant Professor in Department of ENTC Engineering of AISSMS Institute of Information Technology, Pune, welcome you all for my video pertaining to the subject Employability Skills Development of 2019 Pattern SPPU. In this video, I would be discussing about the third and part of the seventh practical from the list of practicals under EST lab. I hope the activities discussed in this video would help to enhance skills among the viewers. The first part of my video discusses about team building. So, teamwork is the collaborative effort of a group to achieve a common goal or to complete a task in the most effective and efficient way. The full form of team goes as together everyone achieves more. The aspects of team building include effective communication which is the most important part of teamwork and involves consistently updating each person and never assuming that everyone has the same information. The next delegation means that teams that work well together understand the strengths and weaknesses of each team member and most appropriate tasks need to be allotted to the most appropriate team member. Efficiency means that a strong and cohesive team develops systems that allows them to collaborate efficiently to complete tasks in a timely manner. Ideas and support means that collaborating and being open to new ideas are an essential integrant for harmonious team environment. So what is the basic difference between group and team? So the official definitions go as seen. While talking about team, the level of trust, commitment, conflict management is high while it's low in a group. Team focuses on team goal accomplishment with skill development and application while group focuses on individual growth with limited application. So, what is the role of a team leader? A team leader is a person who provides guidance, instruction, direction and leadership to a group of individuals for the purpose of achieving key results. And the role of team members include the team member should actively participate in meetings and share knowledge, expertise, ideas and information. He should respect others' contribution. He should be a good listener and listen carefully and ask questions. A team member should be an enthusiastic person. So here's an exercise to test your teamwork skills. The viewers are requested to read the question and give marks as allotted here. So the higher the score, thumbs up for you being a great team member. The next part of my video discusses about reading skills. Reading and comprehension involves a measure of how well an individual grasps what is read. It is an interactive process. The good readers are what they read. It is the idea that good readers are capable of putting aside their own at least till the act of reading. In other words, they turn themselves into empty receptacles. So to decide what to read, the SQ3R technique can be employed. Where S stands for survey, so gather the information you need to focus on. Q stands for question, 
Decide on the questions you want to be answered. First R stands for read. So look for the answers for the questions you have. Second R stands for recite. After each section, stop and think and find out if you remember what was read. And the third R stands for once you have finished, go back to the whole chapters. Now, reading rates vary for memorization, learning, comprehension and skimming. There are also various problems related to reading that the readers face. Some of the common problems are boredom, not following what is being read or disagreeing. So to be an effective reader, one needs to be attentive. Don't talk to yourself. Don't keep reading the same and vary reading rate according to the text. So here's an exercise to test your reading skills. Viewers are encouraged to do as directed. There are 12 questions, just 5 minutes to do it. Write answers for the question and above all, read through all the questions before beginning. So these are the 12 questions. The interpretation of this exercise goes as that if you have answered more than two questions, then you need to improve on to your reading skills because you need to have answered just the first two questions. So read instructions carefully. Happy reading to all the viewers. Thank you for watching.